Okay, my friends, I am back with another longer form art journaling video where I am sharing with you all how I utilize all of my scraps or my cutaway scraps from paper projects. So a while back, I finished filming um, my class called Creative Collage, where we've got 30 collage prompts um, working with paper, and I have a ton of scraps left over. But it's probably no surprise that I like to hang on to a lot of this stuff and utilize it in my art journal. While I don't consider myself a full-blown hoarder when it comes to art supplies, I do like to hang on to stuff um, that would otherwise get thrown away or recycled, especially if it's colorful, especially if um, I have scraps in really unique organic shapes. So what you're going to see in my little scrap pile is a lot of like places where I've cut out circles, leaves, I've cut out like my hand, um, lots of triangles, lots of all these really organic colorful shapes that honestly I just can't get rid of because for me, I don't necessarily, when I create, set out to create some of these shapes. I love the leftovers that are often um, created from all of these things that I've been working with within the prompts in this class. So what I end up doing is utilizing all these scraps. Usually when I'm doing collage, I'll have a little box next to me and I will just use it to dispose of all my colorful scraps. And then when that box fills up, I then create these really colorful, organic backgrounds or pages in my art journal um, just to utilize all of those supplies. So sure, you could throw this stuff away, you could recycle it, um, but I love, again, the shapes, the colors, and it actually really pushes me outside of my comfort zone as well as the stuff that I normally do in my art journal. So I'm kind of known for, you know, a lot of messy layers, lots of florals, patterns, that type of thing. But I have found when I'm working with collage, especially with like these scraps, I'm able to just kind of embrace my intuition, um, shapes, abstraction. And I spend, you know, I have a little bit of time filling my pages, creating these spreads just with these scraps and for me it's been this really interesting practice of utilizing another side of my brain when it comes to my creativity. So my favorite supply to use is actually matte Mod Podge. Um, you could use gel medium, you could use a glue stick, but I really enjoy going right over the top of my collage with my Mod Podge. Um, so I use it as an adhesive and as a sealer, but because it is matte, um, my pages won't stick together. So I like just kind of going over the top of everything like I would with a paintbrush. Um, but this process for me is incredibly expressive. I use my intuition and gut. I don't overthink. So I've got this giant scrap pile in front of me and I literally just pick things very quickly and just get them down on that page and fill that space. For me this process is not about planning things out. Um, it's not about picking the perfect color combo or creating some sort of composition. Um, the only goal I give myself is to actually just fill all that white space with those scraps and over time I start to build up a whole bunch of these really colorful interesting abstract pages that I can leave as is or I might work over the top of them with more layers. I might add photography, um, printed photos to the top. I might paint over the, some of those areas or I might just keep going with different types of mixed media layers, stenciling, stamping, that type of thing. But I've really found that this is a fun way to utilize my scraps. Um, again, I don't save everything in the whole entire world, but at the end of filming a class, like um, a collage class, I end up with a lot of these random little pieces that I just feel like are really interesting, very organic, shapes, subject matter, even color, that I might not think of using um, if I were in just a normal day in day out creative session in my art journal but because I can pull from them in this little pile of scraps I have it kind of just pushes and exercises a different side of my creativity and my brain in this process and because my art journal is a place um, less about results more about process more about play it's the perfect place to mess around with these types of things so I know that there's a lot of paper artists out there, a lot of probably collage and mixed media artists out there who probably, like myself, have tons of scraps. And I thought it would just be fun today to give you a little bit of
bit of inspiration when it comes to utilizing those scraps. Um, you could go abstract like I am, or you could be really intentional and specific with those collage bits and pieces and those scraps. But for me, it's the abstraction um, that really, again, pushes my brain and gets me creating in a way that's a lot different from the way that I create every day. I spend a lot of time um, with more illustrative style of things, with drawing, lots of details, um, lots and lots of layers of different types of paint and color. And I think this process is just a fun way for me to let go and really relax without um, really having that pressure of results. And the best part is that I end up having these really colorful, interesting pages um, throughout my art journal that, again, I can keep going over the top of or leave as is. And they end up being so colorful and interesting that sometimes I look at them and I'm like, oh, this is so cool that I would have otherwise probably tossed this stuff in the recycling bin. But I found a way to give it a second life within the pages of my art journal. And for me, usually the way I work is I challenge myself to utilize all the scraps that I have saved up in that little receptacle box um, and see how many pages and surfaces I can fill. And then once I fill that little box up again with scraps, I will sit down with my art journal, just work through this process. So I can usually knock out, I don't know, six, seven, eight pages in my art journal with my scrap pile. Um, I really like utilizing these sessions where I've got that giant pile of color and bits and pieces and I can push myself to work through it, see how many pages I can create. This is another way to break the ice. Um, I do not like having an art journal filled with blank white pages. I love layering and going back over time. So I would like to utilize these little sessions where I'll dump out my entire Entire pile of scraps see how many pages I can knock out and then the cool part is I can go back over time and mess around with these pages and add more layers so I'm gonna let you guys watch me fill a few more pages and hopefully this inspires you to maybe hang on to all those little bits and pieces and mess around with a little bit of abstraction in those art journal pages